So the strategic ways to use scarcity are to remove guilt. Maybe someone hasn't got... Hey, what's going on everyone? Weekly recap number five zero. I'm Jake Dunlap, CEO of Scaled. And this week, my friend, we are talking science. We talk a lot about the numbers and the data, but we're gonna talk about the science of influence, the softer side of sales. I think as we progress into 2020 and beyond, it's these soft skills that are gonna be most important. The first skill to think about is consistency, right? We all think that consistency is in our own actions, right? That we should be consistent. So consistency is about the other party. And I think this is a very interesting point that the data shows, again, just how we behave as humans, is that we also like to behave consistent. It's not just that people expect consistency from us. So what that means for all my sellers out there is that the more consistent that you can get your prospects to act very early on in the process, there's a much higher likelihood that they will follow that same pattern later in the process. Because when they start to behave in a certain manner and start to go along with the flow, they don't wanna disappoint, they feel a certain amount of pressure. So consistency, my friends, is a key element and a key way that you can actually drive accountability on the other side, just getting them more consistent. So the second piece, my fellow scientists, is the behavior pattern of social proof. Meaning we as people, when we see other similar people doing similar things, we tend to want to do those things as well too, right? And so we think of this, you know, a lot of the, the techniques, things that we talk about is the use of the words like typically, normally. When people feel like something is a normal part of the process because other people have felt it, they're more likely to go ahead with it. Again, this is, this is why whenever you, know, you use the right case studies, you use the right examples, again, I think we've done a few weekly recaps about tribal knowledge, et cetera. So another key way and a key soft skill for all of you to think about is the use of social proof. The next behavior that I think a lot of salespeople kind of naturally gravitate toward this is authority. That people tend to obey more authoritative figures. Right, And I know, look, in sales, we're constantly looking at the differences between manipulation, persuasion, and influence. But at the end of the day, the more that you can position yourself as an expert, like myself as a scientist, right? the more that you can help people to understand your knowledge, there's a much higher likelihood that they're gonna see you as an authoritative figure. Last but not least, my friends, we're gonna talk about scarcity. I think a lot of salespeople struggle with this one in particular. You want the deal so bad, you get so excited that you make yourself overly available, right? I've talked before about the whole DM game. My friends, it's the same in sales, okay? Scarcity, right? We like things to have a limited availability. So in sales, when you're thinking about the way that you act or behave, are you behaving in a way that makes your services or timing sound scarce? Or is it the same old sales tactics they're used to with some fake, you know, end of the month type deadline? So the strategic ways to use scarcity are to remove guilt. Maybe someone hasn't gotten back to you in a couple of weeks. You can say, hey, apologies on the delay. I was actually out of the office for the last week and a half. I want to make sure we pick back up conversations. It's the same way as you talk about, look, I'm sorry, John, I actually can't meet on Thursday, but I could do Friday morning, right? All these different ways help to give you value. So my friends, do not sleep on the value of scarcity. All right, my fellow scientists. So we've covered four of my favorite behavioral qualitative things that make sales amazing. We've talked consistency. So again, help to make them more consistent by giving them a better idea of what they can do to help you. Second, social proof, right? My friends, people like to be a part of the pack. We like to be a part of it. So the more that you can give them social proof into why they should do certain things, the better opportunity you're gonna have. And finally, the last two, authority and scarcity. If you can position yourself as an authority in a space, people enjoy that, they start to see more value in you, and scarcity, right? Don't be so desperate, right? Actually, maybe try to act like, you know, you've been there and done it. Weekly recap number five, zero. Guys, I gotta get back to work. Cabbage juice? <laughs> Scoops of this into that. Where the f do you get cabbage juice? <laughs> How bad is it gonna erupt? <laughs> do we need a towel? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna grab one. <laughs>
<laughs> Dude, my son is gonna love this. Can I take this home? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. <laughs>